Hey, here's a quick tip for everyone who uses iTunes on their Mac to organize their DJ music and only their DJ music. And it comes from Chris who says, if I wanna play a track on my laptop that's just an MP3 that I've downloaded from somewhere, I'm not sure if I wanna add it to my collection, maybe I just wanna to listen to it, um, and I don't want it in that iTunes collection that I've been so careful to, to curate properly, how do I do it, how do I stop it? Because when I double click on it, it adds it to my iTunes. This is what Chris means. Double click on this track here, just a random MP3, it starts playing, where it's actually playing is in iTunes. Here it is at the top here. And more than that, this has now been added to iTunes. Here it is here. That wasn't in this iTunes collection before. So Chris is saying, how do I stop that happening? Let's just delete that from this iTunes collection again. That's now gone from here. But it's really simple, Chris. You right click on any MP3, but in this instance, the one we want to play, and you go to Get Info. In the box that pops up, you come down to Opens With, and this should be set to iTunes by default. That's just the way it is. You can click on here, though, and go down to QuickTime, which is a built-in lightweight media player on the Mac. Now, this is the important bit. Click Change All. This will change all MP3s on your system so that when you just click on them anywhere, they'll play on QuickTime. If they're in your iTunes library, they'll still play in iTunes. None of that stuff will change, but it just means that they won't automatically open iTunes and be added to the library by default. Now, one other tip here, you have to do the same thing for all the other music file formats that you use. So if you're using AAC files, which are .m4a, if you're using WAV files, etc., you've probably only got two or three music file types. So just find one of each and do exactly what I did there. And now when you double click on your file and any other file, it opens this dialog for QuickTime, track will play there instead and it's not been automatically added to your collection. So I hope that one helps Chris and more tips coming soon.